Orcs are the Fremens of Warcraft. If Fremen left Arrakis via the Space Guild, who betrayed them and used them to invade another planet, then yes, for the rest it's exactly the same. Orcs are also religious, just like the Fremen, as they like to worship demons, the spice, right? Or Lisan al Gaib. More Thrall. So yeah, it's pretty much exactly the same. I think uh, Robert, whoever wrote the, those Dune books recently, uh, ripped off Chris Metzen. So we're against Night Elf. What's Shai Hulud? Kodo Beast? It's something you can ride. Zeppelin, I guess. <laughs> Zeppelin's the only thing you can ride. Or maybe Frostworm. Frostworm. The Dune books came out in the 60s. Was that a troll? I don't know if he was trolling when he wrote it. I mean, that's a lot of sand for anyone to talk about. I can't ask him because I think he's probably dead, right? That's like 90 years ago, so I don't think he'd be around to ask. Was trolling even a thing back then? I finally caught you on stream, been watching your videos and replays on YouTube. Nice to catch you on Twitch. Yeah, welcome to the stream, Brood De Demonis. I thought he had it. He must have misclicked or something. Time soon, right? For the Lich King. My patience has ended. 
most likely. Our forces are under attack. Up to Not yet. Just in case I don't get to finish the camp, I'm thinking I'll just take the level 3 and the level 5. of mana still. No expo? Yeah. He's definitely not expanding. Unless he has it on the other base, which would be a major, major shock. Yeah. 
Get heal scroll and then just attack since he lost Naga. He sees me, of course. Pleasure, thank you. The demon hunter drank from five fountains at once. What a guy. Yeah, you can do that if you take all the moon wells and you click replenish on him, like a fetch method rather than the push method. There was an expo, right? He fe I felt like he was playing like he had an expo, but he didn't. Which means he just overstayed his welcome. <laughs> 
Now that you have more experience as Undead, which race do you struggle against the most? Ah, I wish we still had the ability to check our win rate per matchup. But do we? I don't think we do. We used to have a website that showed all your stats. Classic War 3 Bnet. You would go check your stats. In game you had some stats and then out of the game you could check your win rate per every map and per every matchup. It was a great thing for me to do. To discover that I was actually 25-0 against Human on Turtle Rock. Only for me to get psyched out about it and be like, oh my god, I'm unbeatable. For the scourge. I'm unbeatable against Human on Turtle Rock. And then sure as shit, next game you play Human, you lose. Have you built frozen worms today? Yes, I have. More gold is required. More gold is required. It's buying the chance to, yeah. Are the building locations set in stone for every map? Uh, you can build wherever you like, right? You can build wherever you like. Wherever you like. What kind of building locations do you like? Whatever you like. But there are some optimal locations. I don't know them, so I just start building. Oh, the starting location. Of course. No, I think he meant your build location, your building layout. I have uh, videos on that. I forgot their name. If you search Grubby Undead Base Layout, Grubby Orc Base Layout, you'll find one for every race from like five years ago on YouTube. Who's your favorite Warcraft 3 partner of all time in 2v2? Kreelofus. Norwegian guy. Olaf. Olaf Untheim. I wonder what Olaf Untheim is doing now. I bet you could find him on LinkedIn. Don't dox him. Thy bidding master. Yes. So he went to get a ruby. I gladly obey. I bow to your will. I bow to your will. Summon more cigarettes. Summon more cigarettes. Where shall my blood be spilled? Lichi? My patience has ended. My life for the summer vengeance is free. For the Lich King. I. Found the Sim City player, Basil444. Nice, Aurora Poor. Which uh, YouTube channel? Because I have three. My life for death. My vengeance is I wish all to be solved. My patience is ended. My patience is ended. The Grubby Talk School? I enjoy working on that a lot. Oh no! 
Oh, then another air coil. gonna do this <laughs> I have nothing left my life down has I wish this is not good it's not good <sighs> rude isn't it better to go lich first than under mirror yeah I made DK absent-mindedly I was not focused uh, DK first sucks. Would you say it's possible to learn to play Warcraft 3 as a 34 year old human being with no competitive RTS experience? Absolutely. We can learn things till the day we die and we should. Keeps you young. It's interesting and it's a challenge. Never compare yourself to the best in, in anything you do. Just measure your own progress. Doesn't matter how fast or slow. Only thing that matters is your unique experience in life and whether you're having a good time. Do anything that you set your heart to do and take care of yourself why not if you think it's gonna be fun try it my uh grandma played games uh when she was like 80 80 plus she still played games board games she said it keeps you uh it keeps your mind fresh staves off dementia risk which ones which of my grandma i had two grandmas we called them little grandma and big grandma the little grandma was indonesian and the big grandma was dutch oh which board games i thought you meant which grandma uh the little one played uh, board games which board games uh halma do you know it one time my little grandma the board game player or the game player she uh called me she said manuel some some boys okay, called dokey. my phone they were looking for you. And uh, I said, what? What happened? She's like, yeah. They said they were looking for for Grubby. I said, what are you talking about? They said, we're looking for Manuel. Manuel Schenkhuizen. I said, huh? He doesn't live here. And uh, then, then she's like, what could it be about? I'm like, I know what this is about. <laughs> I said, I play video games as you know yes and i'm kind of semi-famous but only online and so these guys looked up schenkhuizen the name in the phone book back then there were still phone books maybe they still exist i don't know everyone had a phone book back then they looked up the name schenkhuizen and then they just called whatever they could find and so they were looking for me because they're a fan she's like huh fan I'm like, yeah, they're a fan of my gameplay. She's like, why? I'm like, well, it's kind of like sports. You play games and then people appreciate your level of play in it. And then they start wondering what it'd be like to talk to you. She's like, hmm. She thought that was very special, very uh, strange notion. But then she also thought it was strange that I could play Frank Sinatra from the phone when smartphones first became a thing. That's wonderful. Because some people at her age would like use the internet, but like late stage internet learning, right? But she never got into computers, smartphones or PC or anything. So like the concept of being able to summon Frank Sinatra at like half a second was so foreign to her because you would just wait 
and listen to the radio like if it's on the radio you get lucky maybe you record it on a vcr or a, or a cassette right but she didn't do that because tech that was her husband's thing my grandpa so she just awaited whatever would come so like having it on demand was insane what does schenkhuizen mean schenkhuizen is kind of like an old dutch slash flemish word for a tavern house means like a house and schenk is to pour so it's a it's a house where pouring gets done uh so it's kind of like a bar tavern or something like that ale house is Schenkhuizen a common name in the Netherlands? It is not. In fact, everyone that's called Schenkhuizen is family of me. It is only one, let's say, family in the world. One big branch of people that all originate from some point, which is uh, Schenkhuizen. Yeah, like Draft House or something. The barkeep, yeah. Grandma Pro Gamer Jeans, yeah. Uh, she I've never once beaten her in a game. She was merciless. She also likes shows like Game of Thrones and stuff. I mean, I don't think Game of Thrones was out back then, but she liked shows like that. Like, in all... I w her interests were so similar. It's really cool. Like a really cool grandma. Is this even fun? You just spam shit. I love to play against AI. Well, that's fun too. I like playing against AI too in strategy games. If I'm like newer, uh, like Dune Spice Wars and Civilization and Age of Wonders. But after some time, when you can reliably beat them uh, repeatedly, you start to look for a new challenge because they don't end up changing anymore and then the multiplayer aspect becomes fun and while i agree that the first two minutes in warcraft 3 are not that riveting uh, that's not really what it's about you just you know think about what you're gonna do and there's no easy way to cut out the first two minutes without ruining potential build order deviations that you could have in the first two so uh yeah to answer your question yes it is fun more gold The spamming is not a necessity, I'm just doing it. Not even because I'm bored, it's just like a trance and an APM rhythm creation. Wand of Mana Steel. graveyard location
How do you get two skeletons from one corpse? Ask Blizzard. It's balance over logic. Suspend your disbelief. Maybe it's like a half-sized skeleton. Dark necromantic magics. The safety spirit tower kind of a weird timing it's gonna delay my statue oh my god oh my god don't need tier three then He has invil. He has invil, but it wouldn't have mattered because this doesn't work. <laughs> GG. Just hero focus, lol. 